I am ruled by the moon. I move under her mantle. I am the symbol of her moods, of rebirth cycle. I'm Georgia Record um, and I live in Shelford, uh, just outside of Cambridge, I'm 20 years old um, and I'm an artist. <laughs> kind of always been into creative things ever since I was really small because um, my mum, my mum when I was younger used to take me and my brother to you know like exhibitions and um, you know galleries and all that kind of stuff and museums and I remember we used to play lots of uh, pirate games so we were always making things to go with that you know like maps and stuff so that's where like where a lot of creative things early on yeah I suppose as I was growing up um, my brother Jono who's sort of been my idol my whole life um, started doing lots of arty things so I was you know, like whatever he was doing I always wanted to do that basically um, and then uh, yeah when I was about seven we went for our on like a family holiday me mum and my brother we went to this place called Clavelli which is very beautiful and then my mum took us for a few days to Exmoor which was the first time we went um, and it was just I remember it was like a dream come true for me because I'd always been a horse rider and you know ever since I was about three years old so I was you know ecstatic the whole time you know there were wild ponies and the moors and the woodlands and you know kind of rushing streams and deer everywhere um, and then when I was about 12 years old uh, we were just talking about it one day and I said you know do you remember that place that we stayed in it was uh, this sort of uh, gorgeous uh, farm um, and with this amazing eccentric woman she's uh, you know one of those proper uh, sort of country farmer types so she you know but she had this big orange hair red lipstick you know black eye makeup um, always wearing tweed caps and jackets and all the rest of it you know millions of dogs um, and she had like over 40 horses you know a herd of Exmoor ponies of her own and it was all rescue animals and um, and we managed to find this place on the internet I was like you know what was it called and we found it again um, and then I realized that they did kind of working holidays so um, you know they had girls that go down there and and sort of go stay for a week and then every morning they get up and they feed the horses and all the rest of it um, and I went there and that's really where my sort of obsession with country kind of animals and country life sort of began really because um, I'd take you know spend hours taking photos of all the horses and the dogs and you know I got to know them all individually because they all had huge personalities you know um, like this, oh, there's one pony that was down there called Jamie that used to let all the other horses out, you know, by opening all the locks and sort of, you know, he'd let himself out and, uh, you know, then he'd go, well, you know, I want to be with all my mates. So he'd und undo all the locks on their doors and then, you know, undo the gate and they'd all go running down the moors kind of thing. You know, it was, it's, it's just a great place to be, really. Because I loved Bobby, the woman who owned the place so much, I started doing my drawings and giving them to her because I was like, you know, this is a picture of Casper, the horse, or... I think it was a couple of years later, I continued going there. I've, I've been going there sort of every year since I was 12 um, to work. Yeah, whereas before I used to, you know, pay to go on the working holidays, now I kind of work as staff and I look after the girls and, you know, teach them how to tack up and things. So it's sort of, you know, I've, I've kind of levelled up, I guess. <laughs> I've been cursed, I've been despised as a witch with darkest powers. I shall go until I I've been hunted, trapped and punished in these my darkest hours With sorrow and such mickle care I've been thrown into the fire but I do not fear it I shall go until I hear It purifies and resurrects and I can bear it With sorrow and such mickle care